Hi, I'm Tommy, and in this episode of Versus Hero Pro, I'm gonna be playing with uh, my Black Magician deck against 3 to 5 random opponents over on Edo Pro. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to test this deck out. I showed it to you at the end of the last video, and I gotta say, this deck has went through so many changes. I've been literally trying to make this deck work for like half a day now ever since the morning right now as you can see on the screen in the bottom it says 1 30 p.m i've been trying ever since 8 a 8 a.m in the morning and i'm still kind of unable to make this deck work this is the best i can come up with it just for some reason keeps struggling with uh consistency i don't really get the cards that i need when i need them and it's infuriating and I'm kind of tired and bored to death of trying to make this deck work. This, I guess, kind of works. I've, I've tried it and it seems to do decently. I don't know. But this is what we're going with. So this is the deck I'm going to be testing. Hopefully it's going to perform well during the videos. But if it doesn't, there's not much I can do. I'm just tired at this point. I just want to get this video over with. I'm still going to try to make it as enjoyable as usual. But... It's just, it's become too much of a pain in, in my ass, and considering the perfectionist that I am, I just cannot skip one of the decks that I've planned to play, because eventually I'm going to come back to this anyway, because uh, if you watched my first video of this series, I explained how this series uh, is going to go, where... First, I'm going to be playing with like the 50 or so decks that I've made for myself, like uh, Claudians, Mech Knights, Mac Mech, Mask Hero, Numbers, Neos. And once we're done with all those decks, I'm going to start playing character-based decks from characters uh, for characters from the anime. And that means eventually we're going to still have to play Dark Magician when we get to uh, playing Yugi or Yami's deck. I'm not sure whose deck I'm going to name it after. But we're eventually going to have to play it anyway, so I kind of have to play it now. But yeah, hopefully it's going to work decently well. But one thing that I know for sure is that at first I planned not to use Dark Dragoon, or at least to have it in the deck, and not use it as first thing. But considering how garbage Dark Magician seems to be without it, I literally will have to summon Dark Dragoon the second that I'm able to, because it's the only saving grace of this deck. This and kind of Dark Paladin if I'm fighting dragons, because that one kind of boosts itself to very high values. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess without further ado, let's start with the first duel. And we got our first opponent, Orochi. Interesting name, wonder what deck they're gonna be playing. And yeah, this is a little bit of a garbage hand. If we don't draw a low level monster or dark magician, we're kinda screwed. But I'm tired, I'm gonna play it. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. I don't care. I'm just, I, I just wanna get this video over with. Luckily, I guess we're playing against monarchs, which are not known to be a fast deck, so I think we might be fine. Yeah. Oh, luckily we actually drew a useful monster. Who would have thought? But yeah, first we're gonna activate Dark Magical Circle. Which hopefully is gonna get me some useful cards, but probably not. Oh, we can actually get a... Oh, I mean, I mean we already had it. Do, did I really need that, to be honest? Um, let's go with this, because that's a little bit more useful. Okay, during your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell, trap card, or effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, that's kind of useful, I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess we could discard one of those, but I kind of don't want to do that, so let's summon this. Please don't activate anything. Uh, let's set two phase downs. And I guess let's inflict battle damage. I mean, it's not gonna be much, but... Oh, true Dracos, are you kidding me? I hate true Dracos. This, this is the worst thing to ever happen. And they're not even fucking dragons, so I cannot even boost my attack with that monster. 
Okay, I guess we're not gonna be attacking. I'm just gonna end my turn. Are you gonna just attack? Hopefully, yes. So I guess this is more of a true Draco Monarch deck. Cool. Uh, we can use that, but I kind of don't want to do that right now. Um... I want to see if they're gonna attack. I'm trying to think of the perfect time to activate my card effects because I feel like I might be able to summon two Dark Magicians so I can banish two cards. Okay, confirm three cards. Uh, to add card. Uh, yeah, I'd rather you use this. Thank you very much. Okay, so you're gonna be using my monster. Okay, we're officially activating this shit. Bye bye, Magician's Rope. Hopefully, you're not. I mean, you're not gonna have a monster on my field to activate, so. To target, I mean, to tribute. Maybe I should have said Dedication for Light and Darkness as well. Eh, it's fine. We still have Eternal Soul. Why isn't Magician of Dark Illusion activating? Come on, why is it not activating? I mean, I don't have Dark Magicians right now. Uh, what's Eternal Soul? Okay, I'm gonna add this Dark Magician and this Dark Magician. Not that it really matters, but... What is the effect of Magician's Rock from the graveyard? Oh yes, now we can summon this bad boy. Yes! Okay, that's gonna wait a little bit. Let's first summon this bad boy. And then Magician's Rope as well, I guess. And now Dark Magical Circle activates. Uh, you can target one through if you do. I think this one is the most annoying, so let's just get rid of that one. Uh, during your opponent's turn, you can discard one spell and trap card. Should we do that? Hope I'm not overplaying my hand right now, but yeah, I don't know. Let's summon another Dark Magician. Will that activate? It should. Or maybe it's only once per turn. If it is, then that's a little annoying, but hey. So far it's actually working pretty decently. I'm actually I actually managed to have two level 7 monsters on the field, which is more than usual. Okay, so one of those of my monsters is gonna get fucking obliterated, but there's some things and stuff that we can do. Okay, my dark magician is destroyed. Unaffected by the effects of cards with the same card type. Monster spell and or trap as original card type tributed for its tribute summon. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Okay. Um, <laughs> if you activate a spell or this card is face up on your field. Okay, cool. Yes. Oh, but that's not gonna work. No. Shit. Eh, it's fine, I guess. What are you... Uh, no, you're not gonna fucking search again. Stop with the damn searches.
fuck you, Ignis. Uh, I'm gonna special summon Dark Magician of Chaos from my deck. Bye bye, Metatron. Although it's unaffected by spell effects, so. Damn it. Discard destroys an opponent's monster by battle after damage calculation, banish that opponent's monster. If this phase would leave the field, banish it instead. Shit! I mean, can I even get anything by activating this? Shit! I mean, we can get another one, but... You know what? I'm gonna set this phase down. I'm gonna set this phase down as well. Right now, let's just fucking destroy Majesty Maiden. I guess. How do I get rid of it though? Okay, now I can get a spell card from my graveyard. Neither is that good, to be honest. And I literally set the exact two cards on the field already, so... I either need a fusion, which requires me to draw the Eye of Timaeus. Do I have a Dark Magician in my graveyard? No, but we have one in my hand. So... I mean, again, I won't be able to banish that one, but I can banish this, I guess. Should I go? I mean, should I go for another Dark Magician of Chaos? I don't really think that's gonna be useful right now. I'm actually managing really well so far. <laughs> Much better than I thought I would be. Okay, so he's attacking that. I wish uh, real life uh, rules work like in the anime where if your monster loses its target, its attack is negated. But sadly, that's not how it works. It's an affected by monster, spell, and trap effects? Are you insane? Okay, how do I beat this thing? It's unaffected, so I can only beat it over. And that's dumb. Okay, let's activate this. Tribute this. So I can get myself the third Dark Magician, even though I, I don't think that's necessarily super useful, but whatever. Uh, let's get the third one from my... What? I guess I can get it from the graveyard as well. Cool, I guess. Oh, man, I wish I had some removal. That'll be fucking useful. Nope. It's not gonna work. I know that. Um, you can activate Quir, destroy Bovado, I think, to the graveyard. If D60 summon card, you can destroy to the graveyard. That's not really useful. It's not really useful either. When a spellcaster, you, you, you banish it. Yeah, banish, 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 but there's nothing that allows me to beat over that. I can only beat it by battle. The, the one way that I love beating monsters. But I don't have the stats right now. But I'm genuinely managing really well, so... I guess I actually finally managed to make this deck work properly. Because I couldn't do even half of this stuff last time. And I, again, I, as I said, I've been trying to record this video all... Uh, I mean, half a day now. For like five hours. Okay, what do you do? You can target three dra true Draco and true King cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, then draw one card. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't really care about anything right now. I mean, we have another Eternal Soul if I need it. 
So it should be fine. Let's summon all my dark magicians in the field. Hey! At least they did this. Even if I lose, I don't care. I'm actually kind of holding my... My line. Oh, fuck you. Okay, what is your effect? Can you stop? I hate true, true Dracos. These cards should be fucking banned. Fuck them. Oh shit. Oh shit, I forgot the effect of that card. Dang it. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure if I tribute one of the Dark Magicians, he's gonna special summon it and it, it's gonna get destroyed. Does it have a uh, destruction protection? Nope, so we're not gonna activate that. It's not over yet though, I have another one. As long as he doesn't OTK me, we're gonna be fine. Please don't OTK me. I mean, we have equal life points. How did that happen? I don't know. Oh, fuck you! I hate true Dracos. I hate them. Please give me the Eye of Timaeus, please give me the Eye, I mean it's still not gonna make me win, but please give me the Eye of Timaeus. What the fuck are you saying? I have it. I have it, but I haven't drawn the cards to summon it. Plus, I'm doing this for a fun video for my YouTube channel. Not trying to Okay, let's see. Uh can we actually do anything? I mean, I think potentially Can you allow me to play now, please? Thank you. I don't really think it's gonna do anything, but might as well kill myself at this point. Please stop. What have I done to you? Seriously, just allow me to play. Why does this deck have so much searching? It's ridiculous. I'm, I've actually went through my two Dark Magician of Chaos. I, I Like, I'm summoning so much and I still can't freaking beat him. Oh, he's asking for my YouTube channel name. Interesting. Did I get a new subscriber? Okay. I do many types of the the O's besides you he maybe t thought that he was playing against hard leg or whatever <laughs> uh, sorry to this point I'm not really hard leg he's great though he's definitely great I love his channel 
And now we're wasting time charging and not really playing the game. But yeah, this is actually a really fun duel. Even if I don't win, I'm proud of um, being able to do so much. I brought out my three Dark Magicians, my two Dark Magicians of Chaos. I mean, that's impressive. And I'm actually going to get my Dark Magical Circle back. Ooh, that's useful. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. As long as he doesn't inflict uh, 900 points of damage, we're gonna be... Okay. I'm not gonna activate the card because I'm scared of him uh, destroying it. Even if he destroys my Dark Magician of Chaos, I think we're gonna be okay. Hopefully I'm gonna draw the freaking Eye of Timaios doll. It's the thing that's gonna save my butt. And I have another dedication to light and darkness. But the thing is, when you summon this and it's destroyed, it's banished, so I can't summon it. Shit. Oh, you destroyed. I mean, it, it was useless to me anyway. Okay, yeah, I'll let, let him destroy it. That's fine. Haha! -ha! I have another eternal soul. Please don't have some way to negate it because I'm gonna kill you if you do. Stop with the searching! This is ridiculous. It's also ridiculous how much I've managed to do in this duel and how much. He's searching. Give me the goddamn Eye of Timaios. God damn it. I'm not gonna last much longer. Are you gonna search again? Stop! This is ridiculous. He's searching his deck. That's not fair! Hey, can I actually add a card to my damn hand? I mean, that's not really useful, is it now? Um, I don't know, maybe this is gonna be on top, this is gonna be afterwards. My hand is not really that great, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, God damn it. I can't get to my goddamn fusion monster, are you kidding me? Uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Why am I not drawing my goddamn card? I'm still in the game though. I'm still in the game. Somehow. Fuck your majesty maiden. I hate it. Also, just want to check whether the Exist Monster Special Summons from the Graveyard or from or just Hand and Deck. So it's not really useful to do that. We can summon this, but it's not really... It's not really gonna be useful in any way, shape or form. Now let's put a face down as protection, I guess. <sighs> I'm handling my own, but god damn it, I'm tired of this shit. The thing is, I'm strong enough to not get destroyed by him, but I'm not strong enough to actually destroy him. I don't know if he's waiting for me to actually draw my card that would actually defeat him. I doubt it. But he doesn't really seem to be able to defeat me either. I'm genuinely impressed by how well this deck is actually working. Now I'm in much better mood for the next uh, four duels. Okay, now we can special summon the third Dark Magician. As long as he doesn't destroy this card, we should be fine. It's unaffected. Don't target that. I've banished so many of his cards as well. Like, 
Okay, I'm now really excited to see how the other dudes are gonna go, because if I'm handling my own against true Dracos with this... It's gonna be very interesting how it's gonna go... Otherwise... With other decks. Although I can't really take more damage, so I'm gonna have to special summon in defense. Or maybe not. I, I think I might actually finally be able to freaking destroy his Drakhound Baton. And he gets a freaking Exis monster or a fusion or a Synchro after I destroy it? That's bullshit. That's bullshit at this point. I'm also gonna summon this in defense mode, just in freaking case. Because I'm tired of his crap. Oh, he doesn't have an extra deck. Oh, maybe I could've defeated him. Shit. That's fine though. It's either win or lose. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Apprentice Illusion Magician. Yes! I I mean, I still wouldn't have won, but... Oh my god, I actually freaking defeated it. Whew. Jeez. Took a while. Oh man, I'm so close to losing though, one attack and I'm dead, which is why I think I'm probably dead. If he manages to summon a monster, I'm dead, which is most likely something that he's gonna do in a second. But still, I brought him down, I destroyed that fucking monster, I'm proud of myself regardless. Holy shit, this is one of the best duels we've had so far. It's about as good as uh, as the duels that I had in the first... I think it was the first episode of this series that I lost the audio for. Uh, I, I still have them in the video, you can watch them, but I lost the... Uh, I lost the audio for those, so it's only me dueling without any commentary and it's toward the end of the video am i gonna survive this i i do not really give up easily apparently with this deck how am i still alive how am i still alive are you kidding me i'm still going i'm still fucking going I mean, with this card, I don't really think there's much I can do. But I guess... Uh... I don't know, send this to the grave. Special summon a Dark Magician from my graveyard, I guess. Okay, I have nothing. I honestly have nothing. This is it. This is the extent of my place. I didn't draw my Eye of Timaeus, which could have solved all this situation, but I still managed to destroy his monster, which is uh, something I'm super proud of. So, I don't care that I'm losing. It was a great fucking duel. That's what this series... This is what I'm aiming for this series to be. Just this great back and forth duels. I loved it. Whew. Okay, um, for some reason I wrote that as a win when it's a loss. But it was a win for you, to be honest. And for me, in terms of entertainment, because it was a great fucking duel. Now I'm really excited how it's gonna perform against worse decks, because... It, hold it, it held its own against freaking two Dracos, and I hate those monsters, and I feel like they're broken and shouldn't have been a thing, but I'm impressed by how well this deck actually performed. 
So I guess uh, let's just get into the second duel. Uh, there's nothing else to say. And we got our second opponent, Mao. I wonder if he's gonna be playing evil heroes, because his name is very close to Hao, which is what uh, the name Supreme King is in Japanese. I don't really hope that the deck actually holds up on how good it has been in the first duel, because that was like a legendary duel in my opinion. It's, it's probably gonna be one of the most memorable ones in this series, period. Because like, I, I just managed to hold off for so long against that deck and he wasn't even like... I wasn't really even overpowering him, I was just good enough to hold on for a while. It is just so much better because... Because it took me so long to try and make this deck work and I still don't feel like I did, really did. But... It was great. It actually worked out pretty decent. It's just that that deck that I played against was already too tough for me to handle. And I didn't draw the goddamn Eye of Timaeus, but now apparently I did right off the bat. Okay, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster on the field, tribute it. This is a quick effect. If this card has a plant monster as a material, each time a monster is tributed, this card gains 200 uh, attack for each. Okay, so uh, this little bitch can tribute my monster, I guess. Is it destroyed or negated? Is it targeted? It cannot be destroyed, but it can be tributed, so that's fucking annoying. Okay, let's just, um, I guess, simply go with Magician's Souls. We're gonna send Dark Magician to the graveyard, then we're gonna send Magician Souls to the graveyard, which allows me to special summon Dark Magician from my graveyard. Are you gonna tribute it? I mean, we don't really have much of a choice. Out of the cards that I have, the only one that has any semblance of possibility to destroy this one is a uh, Dragoon, so I'm gonna have to do it. Don't really have a choice. So we're gonna tribute Dark Magician, and Eye of Timonis is actually a really good card. Uh, in Dark Magician to get a Dragoon out, you don't really need Red Eyes or Red Eyes Fusion, you just need this card. With it you can tribute Dark Magician and special summon any fusion monster that lists him as a material. So we're gonna bring out the Hell Eyes Lucifer Satan monster. Hopefully, uh, Rika is not gonna tribute it. And she didn't, so I will be able to destroy her most likely. Let's hope at least. Although maybe it's gonna be a mu mutually assured destruction. Which still would, would be fine in my eyes. Because I do have uh, other cards and other things that I could possibly do. When you activate this card, you can also tribute one plant monster, especially some Valerica monster from your graveyard. Ooh. Can I activate this now? Hmm. Okay, what is. Uh, they uh... I mean, honestly, I don't care, special summon your damn monster. I'll still run over it. I, I just really need all four cards that I have in my hand. And yeah, now I can definitely see why the deck is actually works uh, really well. I'm gonna try to never change the deck build that I've done right now, because it once you hit the right spot for a deck, it's so easy to just screw the flow of it. Oh, we actually destroyed that one? Really? Uh, during your opponent's end phase, while this card is in your grave, you control no monster or all monster control or plant monster, you can special summon this card. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we can summon this, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, I don't know how good Rika's are 
with spell and trap removal because this is the first time I'm fighting them but I, I'm kind of a little scared to set anything so I'm not going to do that until at least my Dragoon is destroyed. Because I kind of need all these cards. I think I, I can do just fine even if I lose some of them but I can't lose all of them and I don't want to risk it. Okay, what is your effect? During main phase, you can take one Rekka monster from your deck, except... Okay, add it to... Add your dumb card to your hand. After the last duel, I don't really care about uh, searching effects, as long as it's like once per... I mean, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be tolerating once per turn, but like once per monster per turn, I guess. Or once a turn as a whole, not per monster. Okay, what do you do? You can tribute one plant monster, special summon both this card and one other plus, uh, plant monster from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. Okay, I don't really care. Summon your crap. I'm just gonna be mu that much happier to destroy it after you do. For some reason, I thought Lone Fire Blossom was a tuner. Rika Flores. If a Rika monster you control is tributed, you can make a bunch of tribute almost. Oh, fuck you! Um, no. I'm definitely not allowing that card to get activated. Um, yeah, let's send this one to. It has a graveyard effect. And also I boosted its attack. What you gonna do now? Fairy Archer Ingunar cannot Target to turn this card special summon if this card is special summoned by the effect of a plant monster. You can target one level six or higher plant monster. Special summon it in the best position. Also you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. At least you can tribute my monster, so screw you. Man, Dragon is a very useful monster. I kinda like him. I like using him, I don't like playing against him, because the only way you, way you can defeat him is by... Uh, oh shit. Uh, thanks, I guess. I guess that's one way to get it off the field. But I was just gonna say that the only way you can defeat it is by tributing it with kaijus, or by beating over it. Oh boy, oh boy, am I sorry for you. I can't believe I actually drew it again. <laughs> really? Now I drew it? But but in the last duel I couldn't draw it once? He's gonna be so disappointed when he finds out that he's screwing with the wrong person. I'm sorry for this. I'm I really am. Guess who's back? And he's better than ever. Okay, now I'm definitely setting this one face down. Because I have like two Dark Magicians that I would like to bring out of the graveyard. And 3000 damage. And now I'm still keeping a card in my hand so I can negate his shit. Okay. This is actually going surprisingly well. I'm really enjoying this, uh, these duels. So we had one loss but it was still a great duel. 
So far, the second one seems like it's gonna be going towards a win for me, which will be great. The more duels I can squeeze out of this, the better, honestly. I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad that I actually hit the perfect uh, amount of cards for this deck. So now it's functioning the best it possibly could. Honestly, I feel like sometimes it's more about luck and magic, kind of, uh, rather than actual like deck building or like calculating the uh, which cards should be a three, which cards should be a two, and everything. I feel like sometimes it's just luck hitting that right spot with the amount of cards, so they actually synergize to, uh, uh, with each other well. Cause like I tried and I tried and I tried and it didn't really work this deck, but now it seems to be working perfectly fine. Have I said it before? I mean, if you've seen my my, uh, the, my videos, you probably would uh, know, but. I think I've said this before, but I hate these kind of waifu cards. It's the worst thing to happen to Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. Even if they have, might have been a thing. Uh, since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh, I hate how many ar stupid waifu archetypes are there. I hate it. I hate it. I feel like there's a disproportionate amount of waifu archetypes compared to other kind of cards. And the reason why I hate them for those of you who don't know is because it's for me it doesn't feel in the nature of the game. To me is this is supposed to be like a serious game? Like, yes, I play it for fun, but I take it seriously. I want the monsters to be monsters. They're called monsters, for Christ's sake. So why the fuck were you giving me this waifu shit? Which is just, just pandering to... And I hate using this word because... I don't... Uh, I have nothing against people who watch anime. I freaking watch anime, and I hate this term being uh, used, but I... These cards are literally just pandering to weeps. Who go insane whenever they see a cute female anime girl or a cute anime girl with tits. I hate that. And somehow it's even worse in Rush Duels. What the hell is this? Kanzashi the Ricker Queen. Like at least it fits with this archetype. Uh, it's aesthetic or whatever, but like, I hate it so much. Especially when it's just, there's nothing to the archetype, it's just stupid waifu pandering. I hate it. Yeah, I, I kind of don't want to use Eternal Soul right now. I don't want to risk flipping it face up and screwing me over. Okay, Kanzashi the Rika Queen. If a monster is tributed, you can detach one material from this card and target monster in their graveyard special summon. If plant monster control would be destroyed by card effect, contribute plant monster from your hat on the field is dead. So you have protection, is that so? You know that I have a negation effect, right? Can I activate it even? I would think so. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! IRL. That, and uh, because uh, I don't really have anybody to play it with, but the reason why I don't really w even want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! IRL is because I would never be able to figure out the timing stuff. It's like way too fucking complicated. Uh, YGO Pro and Edo Pro do it for me, so it makes it very easy. But it would be hell to try to play it. Like, for most things, I would be fine, but I'm 100% sure I'll miss timing more often than I would want to. And yeah, I think we're just gonna win right now, because I can summon a Dark Magician, 
and then attack and destroy him, I'm sure. I don't think he has a way to prevent me from doing that. Unless he destroys like my internal soul or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna use Dragoon to attack the defense position monster. And I'm gonna attack with Dark Magician for game. Because after all, this is a Dark Magician deck, not a Dark Dragoon deck. But yeah, we got ourselves a win. So, so far, one loss, one win. We still have most likely three more duels to go. I very much doubt that I'm gonna win the next two, but if we do, I'll probably just do the fifth one for the sake of uh, just having five duels, because why shouldn't I, you know? I'm really enjoying this. Might as well. But yeah, um, I guess let's get into the third duel. And we got our third opponent, Jimothy3. That's a weird name. Okay, actually, pretty decent hand, all things considered. Cool, I like it. I can summon Dark Magician and I can summon also Dark Magician of Chaos. I can actually summon both of them with this hand. Okay, we're playing against Cybers, I guess. I'm sure I've mentioned this in my previous episodes, but back when Link Monsters were released and I played Cybers for the first time, uh, the stupid play that I would do every single time, because other summoning mechanics kind of trained me to do that, would be to just summon all my cards, all my monsters from my hand to the field, and use like 2200 attack monster to summon a crappy Link to. Because for so long I've been trained by fusions, synchro and Xyz monsters that you should just vomit your hand onto the field because the extra deck monsters are gonna be inherently better than anything you have in your main deck so it's good for you to do that but with Link monsters that's not the case. For the most part the Link 2s and the Link 1s are mostly garbage except in very rare occasions if you need a specific effect. They're very situational for the most part. Uh, and again, unless you're obviously focusing on uh, on Link Summoning and you know your ins and outs of, of uh, Link Summoning, which at the time, obviously, I did not know that. So I would just vomit out every single card I have in my hand and use stronger monsters to summon shittier ones. Also, these are mat mechs. I actually kind of like that uh, archetype. It's very much my type of archetype, so I can't wait to get to it. Because I haven't really played it that much. I think I've like played it like once or twice for myself, but it is a pretty cool archetype. I like it. This is the kind of shit I love. Although I don't really remember exactly what their deal was, I don't really know what to expect. Here we go with the waifu shit again. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to live with my complaints about it. I hate it. I just hate it. Okay, let's see. You can tribute one monster per summon. Okay. This is just searching. This is nothing, you can link summon. Uh, this card cannot be destroyed by battle card effects. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything to me, so... I don't know, I guess I'll continue with my plays then. Yeah, this is actually a, a really good hand. Oh, screw you. That was rude. Yeah, I don't want to be overplaying my hand, so let's just send Dark Magician to the grave. Uh, send this card to the graveyard and special summon that Dark Magician. Uh, yes. I mean, I think one thing we can do is I'll, I can use Dark Magic Veil to special summon this from my hand. 
And then at the end phase, Dark Magician of Chaos is gonna bring the card to my hand, so I think that's what we're gonna do. It's actually a really good card. Sacrifice a thousand life points to special summon a spellcaster monster. Top notch card. So obviously we're gonna special summon one of the Dark Magician of Chaos. Hopefully nothing's gonna happen to it until the effect activates at least. Oh, he's gonna be doing stuff that I don't like. Link summoning? Oh, fuck your Crusadia Abramax. If a monster special summon to a zone, discard points to while we control this monster, you can banish one cybers from your graveyard and one cybers. Okay, I don't really care. But this one is an annoying one to deal with, especially with my old ass deck. Uh, when this link summon card is on the field, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, their monsters cannot target monsters for attacks, except this one. So that's fucking not cool. This card gain attack onto a post monster. Uh... So yeah, this monster is literally a uh, certified 3000 attack every time it attacks my monster. So that's not fucking cool. There's not much I can do right now. And I can't attack anything else. So yeah, we literally have to end my turn. At least I'm gonna get my Dark Magic Veil back. Now I really wish I was able to use this one, this card. So now we again have to hope that I'm gonna draw my Eye of Timaeus. It's literally just the card that saves the deck from being garbage. Even though even without it, it's still able to hold its uh, hold the line pretty well. Update Jammer. Once per battle, during the damage calculation, if your Cyber's monster battles, you can activate this effect. Negate all other card effects in the field until the end of the damage step. Damage calculation for this battle uses each monster's original attack and defense. Also, if your opponent's monster is destroyed by, by this battle and sent to the graveyard, inflict tons of damage to your opponent. And the monster is not even in the field anymore. Uh, Topologic Zeroboros. What does this do? Uh, can you not OTK me? And I'm dead. Well, that was a fast fucking round. So I literally now have to win every single duel. We just did duel number three, that was a quick one, but I, I, I did some stuff. Uh, so I am going to count it, even though it was fast, but we still have to do two more, so... I guess let's get into duel number four then. And we got our fourth opponent, Miku. Okay, decent hand again. I'm loving how much I'm drawing this card. Okay, so we're playing against the Terrors. Cool, they're actually a pretty fun deck, although looking at their artwork, it doesn't look real at all. It feels like custom cards. Uh, you can send this card from your hand to the field. Okay, you can target... I don't really care. Okay, there are some things we can actually do. I kind of don't want to really use any of the cards I have in my hand right now. I think I'm gonna set these two face down and I'm gonna pass. Actually no, no let's see what he's gonna do before I activate this trap.
I don't remember, do sub terrors have uh, spell and trap removal a lot? Are you just going for direct attack? Don't think so. Go on, take your time, I guess. What is there to do with your dumb deck? Come on, allow me to activate my effect. Hey, finally. Wait, what did you just fucking do? Okay. Um... I mean, I guess I can activate this, special summon this, then use this to special summon the other thing and then get the card back for next turn. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna activate Dark Magic Veil. And we also have another one, so I'll probably use the one on the field, now that I think about it. Uh, we're gonna activate this, we're gonna tribute this, and we're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna put this one face down. Then I'm gonna use this. Bye bye, Subterra Pianness. And during the end phase, I get back my Dark Magic Veil. Hey, what is that? Oh, screw you! That's some bullshit. I guess they do have some dumb trap removal, although this is a trap tricks card, not a subterra one. But it's still annoying. I'm nowhere close to defeating this person. Jesus, how the fuck did you get a level 10 monster set on the field? Do you destroy? Or you just draw cards with this? That's fine, I guess. Where the hell did you come from? Okay, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna let the big one through, but I'm definitely activating it for the smaller ones. Okay, so now they can't attack me. He's gonna do something annoying, isn't he? Shouldn't Dark Magician be flipped face down? Subterra Behemoth Ultra Mathus. Uh, you can show your other face up monsters on the field face out of his position. Well, that's annoying. Hey, here comes another Dark Magician. And I know a way how we can get another one. I 
hate when I have to wait for my acti for my effect to activate. It's so annoying. Each player can only control one attribute monster. That's fucking fine. I mean, that doesn't really concern me. All my monsters are one... One attribute anyway. This would have been a problem in Elemental Heroes, not really in Dark Magician. It's even in the name, it's dark. Okay, so we're actually finally gonna bring out an Xyz monster. I'm gonna overlay my two Dark Magicians to summon Ebon Illusion Magician, which has a decent effect of detaching a material to special summon a spellcaster type normal monster from my hand or deck. What does that do? Don't you flip my monster face down, I'm gonna kill you. Are you gonna search again? Screw you. I hate searchers. What is with this uh, video and so many searchers? God damn it. It's getting infuriating at this point. But yeah, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna use my Dark Magician. Uh, and I'm gonna attack the face down Subterra Behemoth. Now, the effect of Ebon Illusion Magician activates, which when a spellcaster type normal monster declares an attack, I can target one card my opponent controls and banish it. So, bye bye, Subterra Guru. Again? I flippin' swear. Are you kidding me? Why do these monsters have so many fucking hand effects? What is this? Fucking dangers? Or what archetype has so many hand traps? How do you even summon this card? I guess through the effect of fiendness. <sighs> god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Still my attack should go through. And it's gonna go to face down. I hate subterrors. I officially hate this dumb archetype. I'm so done. There's still something that I can do though, that I'm going to. I'm gonna tribute my Dark Magician to summon the Dark Magician of Chaos and destroy his dumb subterror Guru. No! I forgot we were in the battle phase. God damn it. At least it doesn't seem like he has the stats to beat my monsters. Although, I wonder how long that's gonna go for. Also, at least we can still summon another Dark Magician back from the graveyard. Yeah, I love how consistent this deck seems to be now all of a sudden. Also, Terra Monster you control gain, Fanfare and attack and defense. For each said monster on the field, on Spectre, when a Subterra monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one Subterra card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Uh, 
I'm gonna use the trap card effect from my graveyard, but I'm gonna use it at a specific time when he tries to attack. Even though I'm pretty sure he knows. Why did you lower your attack, you dumbass? Oh, con this is annoying. So now he even gets my damn monster. Take it, I don't even need it. Please tell me I can activate it in the battle phase. Good. Screw your Subterra Cave Clash. You're not gonna get any boosts. Or maybe you will, because you have so many damn cards. Are you insane? This card sets itself down. What is this? Scrap Aaron Scarecrow? This archetype is freaking insane. I definitely have to try it. Yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna win against this. I haven't literally I literally haven't touched his life points. But if I lose now it means three losses. And because I'm constrained by timing, uh, by time, it might be the last duel. <sighs> God damn it. Just keep on summoning. Just keep on. It's not enough. At least I get my monster back. Flip summoning an Xyz monster. How many times have you seen that happen? How the fuck do you have so much attack points? Are you kidding me? Okay, we can send this like this. I mean, I can activate this card's effect and freaking beat over this one, but I don't really think that's gonna work. Okay, so this... Uh... Forty four hundred, so that's shouldn't be enough. I can also spam my field, but I still don't really think I'm gonna win. What is that one gonna do? Stop with the damn searching. Okay, wait, this special summon is from the hand or deck, I was hoping I can special summon from the graveyard, but it's still fine, it's still fine. Okay, I'm going to attack... I'm gonna attack this and try to banish this goddamn piece of shit. Dude, ugh, what is this shit? Oh, I think I could have used this. Eh, we don't really need that. It's gonna be fine.
Okay, so... How is this one's attack gonna go down? What is boosting its attack actually now that I think about it? For each said monster on the field. Okay, so once I remove this, it should be low enough for me to destroy it with this, right? Come on, destroy it. I didn't realize some terrorists were so goddamn annoying. They have way too many goddamn effects. I I thought some terrorists were supposed to be this slow flip archetype. Apparently they're not. Well, screw you as well. I at least got rid of all his goddamn monsters. But like, I just keep removing them, they keep coming back. And I don't know the deck enough to know which card specifically to hit, so that doesn't happen. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really look good for me. At least I'm having these cool, very uh, heavy on interactions dues. Like this is the most fun I've had playing Yu-Gi-Oh in a long time. Like even the last time I recorded uh Okay, we can't really attack that one, can we? Even in the last episode wasn't really this fun. I think the last time I had this much fun might have been the first episode and more specifically the original uh, the original dudes that I still have in the video. You can still see them. Um, but they're not what the video was about. They were just an addition that I added at the end because I lost the audio. Oh, now you have another boost. As if... Your monsters weren't already fucking overpowered. At least there shouldn't be a way for you to destroy me in terms of life points. At most I'll take 1600 damage. I kind of like and hate this card. It's such a ver such a ver versatile card. Okay, we can't really do anything about that. Shit. Well, it was a fun duel at the very least, so all is forgiven. But that was our third loss, so yeah. Uh, this deck definitely performs much better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I would have loved to use some other monsters in my extra deck like Amulet Dragon, Dark Paladin, but sadly we didn't really get to do that. At least we used uh, the more uh, kind of useful cards, which are da Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon and even Illusion Magician, because these ones are kind of useful in very specific situations like uh, in Amulet Dragon's case, it's whenever you're playing with a spell-heavy deck or Dark Paladin, who is useful against dragons, but against anything else is not really that useful. And yeah, I, if I was doing more uh, duels and putting more time and effort into these into these series, I probably could have used those monsters, but. Considering all the ty uh, different types of videos that I do on my channel, this is the most I can uh, invest time into this. And it was still pretty fun, I would say. I really enjoyed uh, these few deals. So yeah, um, I guess I should give you the tease for the next video, uh, which you probably already know at this point if you've looked into <laughs> the decks whenever I show you uh, them like this at the end. But yeah, next time we're going to be playing Black Wings. And most likely I'm not really gonna change the deck from what it is right now, at most I might change one or two tech cards when it comes to this. But for the most part I think I, I've i made it the best it could possibly be. Like I said for Dark Magician, it's very easy to screw up with the ratio of the cards. 
in the deck and make it not really work as well as it should so from what I know this works so I'm gonna leave it as it is uh, but yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, leave a like and subscribe also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel I'm also a writer and if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos you can head over to Patreon where I can pledge support and help get the channel going it helps support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy but if you don't want to do it that's completely fine you can still help me out in other ways like liking this video subscribing and especially sharing this video with somebody who you Think might enjoy it and I think it's pretty much it for this video so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one bye